We've called a parent constructor in the last few tutorials without actually going into much detail about it. If the child class does not define a constructor, it inherits the parent constructor like any other method. If a child class defines a constructor of its own, the parent constructor will be overridden. To call the parent constructor, a call to parent double colon construct must be done from the child constructor. The parent constructor. All right, we're including this Lamborghini.php class. If we open it up, all it does is it extends the car class. It contains no constructor of its own. If we open up the car class, it actually has a constructor inside here with a few different parameter declarations. And the first three are the only required ones. So if we wanted to, we can create a new, for example, Lamborghini and just say new Lamborghini and then pass it the three different required arguments, which were the year, make and model. All right, so we have those three and now we can say, for example, echo Lamborghini get year, make and model method. And now even though that method is not within Lamborghini, it is within car all the way at the bottom, which is right there. Here it is. And the year make and model are assigned to the property year make and model that's not inside actually the car class but it does extend vehicle so if we open up vehicle class we see the year make and model properties right there all right so just a little recap of how constructors work and if we go ahead and refresh there it is 1999 Lamborghini Diablo which is exactly what we're expecting when calling the get year make and model method, which just returns this dot year space make space model. But what if Lamborghini itself, the class, had a constructor? So for example, public function construct. And inside this construct, let's say that what we want to do is we want to pass just the make and the model. All right, and then because it still does extend car and car extends vehicle, we can still access the properties inside both car and vehicle. So we can say this make, which is located in vehicle, is going to be a the make argument that's passed. And then we can say, for example, this model is equal to model. So now the only two things that we're passing are the make and the model, and maybe even, let's say, color because I think that's one of our properties. So we can say this color is equal to color. All right, so we have three different arguments that are being passed, the make, model, and the color. So now if we go to our parent constructor, we can pass when we instantiate a new Lamborghini, Lamborghini Diablo, and for whatever reason, I like that purple one, even though I would normally never think about getting purple, but in the Diablo SV, the purple just looks amazing which means we can't call the get year make and model because it wasn't set, right? We never actually set the year. So uncaught error type property vehicle must not be accessed before initialization. So it means we didn't initialize it. Why didn't we initialize it? Well, because we never called the parent constructor to initialize it. So in this case, we overrode the parent constructor which is located inside car. And normally the parent constructor receives the year make model and then we set it. And at the same time, we never actually set the year property inside our overwritten constructor. So that means that get year make model method is not usable currently. So we could still say like, for example, get make dot Lamborghini, get let's say model, not dot notation get model and then let's say Lamborghini get color so we can say hey this is Lamborghini Diablo SV purple and if we hit refresh and there it is Lamborghini Diablo SV purple because those properties we actually did set okay so we covered a couple of things so first one was if we didn't have a constructor second portion was if we had a constructor and we overrode it and then the third thing is what happens if we want to call the parent constructor so let's say that this time we're going to be getting the year make model and the color right so we want to access this color but inside for example car well actually color might be a bad thing let's see some just lamborghini kind of feature Let's say something like secret 
code, right? I don't know. Lamborghini has some kind of secret code and it only has that property inside the Lamborghini class. So we'll say private string secret code. And we want to set that secret code. So we'll say this secret code is equal to secret code. So now Lamborghini has the secret code. Uh, we pass it through the constructor argument. But what about year, make, and model? We could do this year like we've done before. This year is equal to year. This make is equal to make. This model is equal to model. Or since we know that the parent constructor actually accepts those arguments, we can say parent underscore underscore construct and then pass it year, make, and model. So in this case, it's actually being called and the three um, constructor arguments are being passed to it. So let's go ahead and I'm also going to implement a some getters and setters for the secret code. Let's see, where is the secret code? So now we can access and set the secret code as well inside this class. So just to make it a little bit more official. If you need a refresher on getters and setters, uh, Check out the video on getters and setters. Let's see, which video would that be? Looks like video number or tutorial number 52. So if you need a refresher, check that out. But all we want to be able to do is once we set it through the constructor, just to be able to access it because we made this private. So now let's go ahead and say Lamborghini is equal to 1999 Lamborghini Diablo SV and some secret code that only Lamborghini has. That, that looks secret enough for me. Now we can say echo Lamborghini get year make and model. Let me just make sure inside of our car class that year make and model actually returns a string and that's what it does. It doesn't echo it out. And then we can also say Lamborghini get secret code. So it's going to say 1999 Lamborghini Diablo SV and then the secret code. Let's go ahead and click refresh and there it is, the whole thing. So that is a reason why you would want to override the constructor instead of just calling it directly is if you're trying to set some properties inside this class itself. So if you were wondering whether the parent constructor can be moved after a code is executed, for example, this secret code is equal to secret code. Turns out that it can. In most other programming languages, it cannot. But in PHP, if you hit refresh, it still sets everything properly. So in most other programming languages, and I would still keep this convention just in case PHP changes its mind later on, is the first thing you would do inside the child constructor is call the parent constructor and set it that way, and then set any properties or anything like that that you have to do after the parent constructor call.